Hey guys, today's video is going to be against a pure power straight spammer. So no punches other than power straights. And I have uh, most of the whole fight. I also have some uh, another angle of that fight and some training, offline training that you can do afterwards. And that's at the end of the video here. So I'm going to show in that training ses uh, section, I'm going to show some of the little tricks and tips that I do a lot. And like that feint there and um, a few other things to help you uh, deal with these spammers. So that's after the fight, okay? And this guy, I ran into him recently. He's got the belt by just using that one punch, just spamming that one button over and over. So I ran across him, but he declined to fight because I beat him earlier. But um, you can see here that he wins about 50% of his fights. That's uh, way too much in my opinion, and this is recent. Uh, you can see what we want to do is get their straight percentage as low as possible. So he's at 31. That's horrible. That's the key to the whole thing. And we're going to do that by hitting his body under his straight. So you can see the target on orthodox is the bottom right. So his body on his right side, uh, southpaw body, left side, the target. All right, so in the red is, is the spammer advantage, and the bottom is the round. So uh, spammer has advantage all the way until round four or five, and then later in the fight, we have the advantage. Coming up next is your basically your punch numbers. The left vertical is the number of punches. So we want to be about 18, 20 punches round one. And those mostly will be body. And then as the fight progresses, we're going to throw more and more and go to the head more and more. Okay, so you can see here I win most of the time. Um, I'm not a great player or anything. I'm just good at beating spammers. And most people are spammers. Like I'm nothing special. but And I, my record is actually like 45 and 2 or something. But anyway, you see like all these uh, top guys, usually they're the ones that um, I can beat pretty easily. But I have a lot of trouble with real good sim players. So these are all spammers and these are the people that run the leaderboards. But for me, it's like not that difficult. So I give them a lot of L's. And uh, so here's basically what I'm working with is we're using, I got a slugger. He's a fat man. He's 5'10", 252, 67 inch reach. And we're rated 90 in OWC Xbox. Here is a shout out to Vanilla Beast. This is a chart he put together. This is very important. What's important here is the toughness. So you want an inside fighter. Or a brawler and actually inside fighter I believe his toughness is actually only 97 but you can see the toughness is the most important thing these days with the spam going on you can be fast and slick and all that but what's going to happen eventually you're going to start tiring and they're going to catch you so toughness blocking chin all that super important here what we're looking at is a three uh screenshots of typical builds on youtube you notice they all have the Straight maxed out to the head. The straight costs 8,700 points, and uh, body shots are normally only uh, 3,000, 3,300. So you'll see they'll load up on the straight, but they don't have any body punches. And that's a question mark where's body punches? And so basically, what this means is we just need to look out for the straight and we need to work the body and get them in a situation where we can do that. So here's my stats, and this is what I typically use. So I got a little bit of a jab, I got a slugger set up here. And uh, the only thing other than uh, straight to the body, but that can be used as a jab. We switch stances and I'll go over that in training uh, section as well. But you can see here, I got a lot of body punches. And, uh, like okay, but it's the same yeah. time so anyway, here's my normal style. I basically just go maul people. I just go straight forward and beat people down. And that's how I win most of the time. But when you fight a spammer, you have to change your strategy. Okay, this is a real bare bones, basic uh, combo that you should use is like a base combo from southpaw position straight to the head or jab to the head straight to the body and that's in the training as well and here we have a show that the big six foot eight spammers 88 inch reach they just gas out fighting the inside you see ali's really hurt but even with this spammer he can't take him out because they just suck on the inside so you want to fight in the inside with these big spammers and that's why we want to let the fight go long so uh, everybody thinks slows down, the legs tire, and we can close in on them. But if he spams, then that's what happens every time. The straight so powerful. Here's the beginning of the fight. I uh, believe I only got the. Yeah, I missed the first minute and a half, but after this, I have the rest. So, one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught, have good habits, have good fundamentals been put there. Okay, so the key here right is now, to, to keep our health high and our stamina high. So, that can be done by not pressuring him too much. And uh, we're going to let him wear out. 
So I do a few little risky things here. A lot of times I'll throw a bob and weave. I kind of knew I was going to get it, but uh, you might want to, you know, experiment with that because it is risky. But uh, anyway, as this fight comes on, I'll, I'll uh, go over more on the body punch part. So here I'm southpaw to southpaw, and you'll see I kind of use a jab a little bit. And uh, that jab to the body will go under his straight all the time. The problem is I don't have any stats on that jab, so you can still use it, but I wouldn't make it like a primary tool or weapon if you don't have any stats on it. And if you switch stances, though, the power carries over. I'm just doing this because I I knew I was going to make this video, and I figured I'd show a few different angles and different things you can do. There's a check hook. That's uh, flicking the left stick to 1 o'clock position. You can see the body hooks go under the straight as well. Now he's backing up, and I'm not going to really follow him punching I want to I want to put myself in position first and again the one o'clock position this is the way you can spam a spammer you can just flick the stick repeatedly to one o'clock position with the southpaw and you you can spam the spammer if you want and then like I normally never do that I just put it in the video so you can see how this is done not a credit for even getting up from that knockdown but he still has to impress and move okay there's that combo but that's really not the good one to use because he's southpaw I want to go under his left straight okay the boy is showing you jab will do that or the hook to the body now with that two punch combo like that hook and this pace is about the right pace. Uh, the key. Here okay, I also played this fight in a different angle again, so you can see that. And I'm going to explain more on the little nuance things during that. Right now, I just want to kind of explain what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm getting distracted trying to explain all these other different aspects of the game. So, yeah, under the straight is where we want to go. And. Uh, and I think it's working out well for you see I hear him get a little bit wild because like, you know, uh, I'm not really worried about this guy but I should have been because I actually did get dropped signal. once so you know, I should be moving away example, here but, uh, signal, you know. so I clinch him so this is very important when you're hurt and you need to uh, clinch go ahead and do it so that'd be like after a combo or if he misses so we want to keep fighting with our health bar as high as possible so here we go again i've had a good combo and then i snatch him up so i can recover my health the bottom left there that bar you want both your stamina and health up kind of max you know at the highest you can before you engage scoring the knockdown in that last round Yo, you feel good. Okay, so here we are going round three and uh, should be getting pretty close here. So that's a, the perfect combo right there, the jab to the head and the hook to the body. And so now that he's tired out from missing all the straights and taking all the body shots, it's like very easy to stun and hurt him. And normally, it depends on their experience level, but... Uh, some people you might have to go all the way for to a decision with, you know, if they know what they're doing, uh, might, you might have to just take the decision with, and that's just part of how it goes, but uh, this guy is not too experienced, he's just slamming away, so here he's uh, back, in, he's an orthodox, and again we go under his right straight, so we're going to use our left straight or hook to the body. Crazy, what do you do? Now you'll notice here he's moving off to his right and I just stepped. I flicked the left stick in the same direction that he's moving so I can cut him off as he's running away. So now I know he's tired. There's a flick on the stick. Uh, now he's getting tired. We can start pressuring a little bit more but not too much. And every once in a while I'll go ahead and use a bob and weave and go to the body. Now I missed the punch and I'm going to not keep punching. I want to wait until I can hit him and so when they're running away don't keep pushing pushing because you'll run into a straight or a back step straight so when they're running away and it's still round three like that still round three you have plenty of time uh, just take your time you have all 10 rounds to work with it's what, 20 minutes 30 minutes so uh, that's another way that i win most of the time i use that time uh, how i need to so yeah i i survived the first stun the second one just Caught me, you know, just happens. Okay, so where I made a mistake here was I was way up on points anyway. I got the knock down the previous round, so really I should have just been backing up, letting him throw at me. But uh, 
you know, I play this guy a lot, so I'm not going to make it rough on him. So you can see again, the left hook to the body is going underneath his right straight. And that's the perfect combo right there. So jab to the head, hook to the body. That's really all there is. You just take your time. Can you believe that? What a huge so here, uh, that's it on that. So this is just the rest of the fight in a different angle. This is just highlighting the check hook. And you can use it once or if you just hate spammers, you don't want to deal with them, you can spam that too. So again, that's the flick in the left stick, the punch stick to the uh, from the southpaw position. On the same side as his straight, you're going to flick that stick to like 1 o'clock. So it's in between a, a jab and a hook to the head. So right in between, we're going to check hook. And that's faster than a straight generally. <clears throat> Again, like I said, after this section here is the training session that you can practice offline. And I go over a lot of different things in that as well. So, and in general, when you're fighting these spammers, like a good a methodology would be to treat a spammer that just throws straights or any kind of spam around, honestly, is uh, <clears throat> treat them like a... Like a, I guess it'd be like a hot bowl of soup and some, you know, say you got a hot, you order a minestrone soup from the restaurant and the, the sh chef or the cook is a noob and he puts it in there for 15 minutes in the microwave. So it's going to be scalding hot. So you want to treat each minute you're waiting for that soup to cool down the same as each round with the spammer. So the first round is going to be way too hot, way too hot. So you're just going to not do anything really. You just kind of mix it around a little bit. Second round same thing maybe just spin it a little bit more look at it you know you're not going to do much third round get a little bit better you throw a salting cracker on there or whatever that would be a third minute letting it cool down fourth minute you know it'll start cooling off and you can kind of start tasting a little bit the fifth minute or the fifth round is where you can start eating it six minutes seven six round so letting it cool off for six minutes like you can really start getting a little bit more into it by the seventh minute is eighth minute is where you want to really start eating it and then you'll be done in the tenth minute right so you want to treat the rounds basically the same way so just take your time and just let it all progress and okay so i'm gonna commentate the training section and that's where you do the offline drills and until uh that starts this is still just a remainder of the fight with a different uh, alternate view and you can fast forward to that training session if you want and uh so I'm just going to continue commentating there and just let this play. So I'll come back to you then.
Okay, so the offline training exercise is going to start just a moment here and uh, kind of give you a disclaimer that I had to take some medication last night. I normally don't uh, do that, and but so I was very drowsy and woozy, so the commentating is going to be a little bit off. I didn't feel like doing it, redoing it again today, but uh, so that's what, you know, if I sound off, that's what that is, and I just didn't want to redo that commentating because like I said in all my other videos like I'm not a youtuber I'm not a narrator I'm not a public speaker none of that and um, but people seem to get some help from my videos and that's all I want to do is just help people avoid the spam so that's why I make these videos like I said I'm not not a video editor or youtuber stuff is very difficult for me and also one more thing a shout out to a lot of people uh, off the top of my head other track other side of the track boxing uh, Alex Dark Sniper Pluto, uh, Samuel Kramer, and Krushner. There's there's a lot of guys. Uh, Soki, he's got uh, he's really part of the community too. A lot of good comments and things. And there's just a lot of people so that have good videos out there. So you should check out and do a search in YouTube. Uh, type in the Fight Night Champion OWC 2021, something like that, and you'll see all the newer videos. Or put the filter. You type in Fight Night Champion to. Uh, not relevance but upload date and that will let you find all these these guys as new videos so um, I definitely like to watch those too see what people are doing these days and uh, try to pick up new tips and tricks from all these other guys all right so uh, here we go we're gonna be starting where I had the wonky commentating but uh, I mean that's the best I can do man so take care everybody Okay, the drills are going to start now, and um, what you want to do though is build a, a six foot eight, two hundred sixty pound character, and give him the Tyson build and everything. Just give him hundred across the board with all his stats, and then that will be your sparring partner. And then what you're going to do is um, create a fighter of your own, but uh, max out his block, chin, heart. Uh, give him a lot of weight, like two fifty two or two fifty five, and um, his chin, and give him a toughness of ninety eight. You know, make him a, a brawler with the stats. So. I have a video on my channel with that as well. It's called the, the uh, Brawler Build to give you a better idea. Okay, so we want to work with a basic uh, one, two. Jab to the head, straight to the body from southpaw position. And you'll notice when I do the jab, I'm going to do it so I kind of lunge into him. Like that's ideal. You can't always do it that way, but that's what you're shooting for. So we'll see, let's see if I get it here. Yeah, see the lunge? That's a good jab there. You want your jabs to be long. You know, you don't want to be up close spamming away like where you're just all smothered. Keep them long. And uh, you, my jab is kind of wonky here because I have zero stats on it. I think I got one green bar. But so you just clone your character that you would use online. And, you know, and so clone all his stats and everything and his build. And then create a spammer. So and just give the spammer all 100 everything. Make him 6'8". Give him the Tyson build. Make him 260 pounds. And then you can adjust the sliders. You know, make him uh, punch more or less. And then uh, you should work to where you can, uh, you know, beat him easily on greatest of all time. Anyway, let me get back to the technique. So, so there's the jab straight. Now, if he was southpaw, I would turn orthodox. I would throw... My left hand to his head and then my right hand to his body. Right, so. so, and again, the, ne never spam anything in this game. So we're going to move and throw it, move and throw it. But don't always be the one initiating. And throw throw feints like you'll see. Let me call one out. Practice the feints and um, stepping. So we flick the stick to, his, to, to step outside of his jab hand. And then we're going to throw the straight to the body. See, so I'm getting ready. I'm going to flick my character's or the stick so my character uh, jumps off to his right, I think. Yeah. And then it will put his, uh, you know, change the angle. And don't spam this either. This is actually like, I don't even like showing this because it's kind of cheap. But it says it's a real good against the straight. So, I mean, I have no choice. Okay, and then so we'll kind of alternate with a jab to the head and a straight or hook to the body and then a jab to the body and then the hook to the body. And again, we're just wearing him down. We're going to 
I don't even worry about doing anything to him until, you know, sixth, seventh round. All we're doing is just building up our stamina advantage and doing uh, body work. That and let me well. uh, call out the... Came after the jab. So when we're... Yeah, when we're coming... See, there's a little head movement. Like, of course, the AI isn't going to fall for it, but opponents online do all the time. And the more we can get them to miss the straight, the better. So when we're circling in and out and in and out, and we're coming to where we're going to start, you know, engaging with him, when we, you know, the, we start closing that distance, and he knows that we're going to throw, or we know he's going to throw, you know, when we're that close and we get the right distance, like throw a little faint and don't throw anything. Okay, so here I'm uh, using, since I had a level 20 straight from the southpaw stance, I changed orthodox. So now I have a real high level jab to the body. I don't think it's uh, 20, but I don't know what it what it is, but when you switch the stance, the power is still there, so it's way better than if it had none. I would say probably about a level 15 because I've never stunned anybody or anything with it but that will also go under the orthodox straight so we want to learn that too and we want them to see how long they are where it just kind of slides in there and then we're going to get out of the way now if somebody's uh, very aggressive and they're like right up in your face like you want to stay in a southpaw position though because you want the power from that, that side to be available to use only use the jab to the body against someone that's kind of neutral or they're running away as far as aggression goes so we're just doubling up the use of that level 20 straight by switching stance see also i smothered him i don't know if i played there we go i flicked the left stick directly back at him when he pushes and practice this is because some people will only push straight you they'll just push you and straight push and straight so you need to learn that too so always flick the left stick directly back at your opponent when he pushes you and you can play against the cpu and just keep pressuring him like this and he'll push you a couple times around so you might have to practice for a while but uh, you can do it offline okay so now you see i'm right immediately after i block i punch that's called it's kind of like a perfect block if we block immediately when he's about ready to hit us and then we fire punch immediately back you can do that and you want to shoot for the same side like that was a good one but he moved his head and there i uh, block the body by crouching down that's how you want to block the body he just missed that shot up top so now we're kind of back out in the middle so we'll throw the jab of the head straight to the body I'm going to block our body, so um, take less damage there as possible. And unless he's throwing a lot of uppercuts, you can uh, really safely just crouch and block your body first, and uh, it works really good. Okay, this is important. See the stamina here? It's very important. So we're in, what, 96? Yeah, I don't know what I did. I got the, the settings all wonky on this uh, sparring partner here for me, but um, you want to make them throw more than this. But nonetheless, you know, we can uh, work the jab to the body and then we'll switch stance. As long as we got the uh, punch going to the body under his straight, that's all we care about. So the first, like, two to three rounds is going to be slow paced, just, uh, you know, targeting that area. Heading into this fight, we talked about what each man can do offensively. What each man wants to do is have... See, I just did the little bob and weave with the head when I when we come up to, you know, uh, engagement range. It's there. So, and you can see the jab is long. And just one. Now, he pushed me, so I just flicked the left stick right back at him. Always do that, even though you don't have to in practice, because there's some spammers, man. And once they get a rhythm going where they're pushing you and straighten you, there we go. See, I just flick the stick right back. Yeah, there's some people that have records that are just massive, you know, massive, like, you know, win, win rates just by using the push straight alone. Huh? 
So that's uh, for spammers. That's one of the best uh, tactics that you sh you can master, man, to keep yourself like uh, from getting spammed out. Because once they can't push straight you, there's nothing they can do. And I have another video of the chicken wing one where I, someone was pushed straight to me and then I, I did it back to him and he didn't know what to do, you know. I'm going to check that out. So here we're doing more. Now we've got him near the rope. So we're going to block and then hit, block and hit. To the midsection with the left. Now see, I stepped to my left. Or my right, I'm sorry. Okay, hurry up here, what's this? Okay, I didn't get that one. But you can see I'm opening and closing my guard. I'm trying to anticipate right when he's going to throw. Cause, and then we're going to let go of the block and then block the next one. So the, the, the longer you hold your block down, the less effective it is. So you want to clear it. It's like a reset when you think he's going to throw, right? Sometimes it looks like people are just doing it randomly, like they're just spamming the thing, the button. But what they're trying to do is time you throwing. It's not just a, it doesn't work if you just randomly slap the, you know, slam on the button. Okay, that, all that is just a straight, again, to the body. Another thing, our range, we want to be all the way on him like that. That's a good range. But we got to be careful when he starts creating a gap where his straight's going to be more powerful. Like there. So we want to keep on him, and if he gets away, uh, then, you know, we'll let him go, and then we'll try to pressure him again next time around. But that's after you've already done, like, a lot of body work, and he's tiring out. Also, never fight someone that's like, I'm 90 here, and then 85. That's not fair at all. Never do that. Only one or two point difference. Use the LB or L1 button to push off, uh, you know, aggressive people. If you don't want to fight, you need to rest or whatever, push them. And then a jab to the head straight to the body is the magic combo against spammers good shot to the head with that right hand so just you know learn that and if you learn a southpaw position you know, fight from southpaw like you win a lot more against spammers because it's the perfect uh, way the punches the flow it's the perfect stance uh what's this i don't know what this is i think this is just that dude oh yeah this is just the spammer like not wanting to fight me when he had the belt Okay, and also use there's a how the feints or the jab the body does actually work. This is a real fight. So the more we get them to miss like that, the better. Now here we go. Here's a feint. You'll see my head twitch. He's a step back a straight spammer. So here's comes a twitch. We get him to throw, and then we're gonna slide in and crack him. You know? So the feints. And the jabs of body to get him through, those those Last work all the time. The he is not in good so shape. definitely, he definitely implement that in your game. Also, if somebody's just standing around waiting for you to punch, uh, never do it. You know, don't participate with that. Just shove them in the corner if they want. You know, I mean, they're not going to punch. Just throw them in the corner and do some body work. But never punch someone just waiting for you. Because I've been knocked out hundreds of times, probably. From people back step straight in with that. Is wanting the counter punch here. So but never let anybody just stand there and block here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that, but you know. Uh, people like uh, we use a, a cheap head movement deal where they just lean back and they can knock you out. So you need to turn with your power hand to the body on the same side as their straight and just throw it there and then you'll see it gets in like that. So again, this is the main target. And uh, thanks to everybody. And also, thanks to everybody that's like invited me to practice and whatnot with you guys. And um, I'm getting a new voice module for my Xbox. So once that comes in, I'll get a hold of everybody and get that going. So, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody. And uh, I hope this helps out. And if it does, um, 
leave a comment or something so I know or push the like and if you don't like it then press down the dislike also just so I have an idea and then I, cause I have other videos I can make take care Okay, and one last thing, and man, that, that last commentating was horrible. That was bad. I did that last night, like I said. Anyway, uh, here we are. This is what I did not include. This is how to counter the push straight. So when they push you, immediately flick the left stick directly back at their character. So um, practice that offline and just crowd the opponent, and they'll push you a couple times around and flick the left stick directly back at them because once you get that, there's nothing they can do to you, okay?